Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about rotation. When we are speaking about rotation, we can imagine many many things that turn around and around a certain point. And mathematically speaking, rotation is a change of orientation around a fixed point. No change of size, no reflection, just rotating. In the coordinate plane, the rotation happens around the origin. That means that the point 0, 0 is always the center of rotation. We have two directions of rotation. Clockwise rotation, just like the movement of the clock, and counterclockwise rotation, which moves the opposite direction of the clock. Now, in the coordinate plane, the counterclockwise is considered the positive rotation and the clockwise is considered the negative rotation. Of course, to measure how much the object or the point is being rotated, a full rotation, a half or even a quarter, we use the degree to refer to the measure of the rotation, which means we have from 0 degrees until 360. So let's take an example here. If we move an object in the positive direction, which is the counterclockwise movement, a quarter turn is a 90 degrees rotation. A half turn is 180 degrees rotation. Three quarters of a turn is 270 degrees rotation. And a full turn is 360 degrees rotation. That means we are back from where we started. Same thing, if we are moving in clockwise movement, which is the negative direction, a quarter is a negative 90 degrees rotation, a half turn is negative 180 degrees rotation, negative 270 degrees rotation, and finally negative 360 degrees. Now, of course, after we rotate or move any point in the coordinate plane, the coordinates of the point will change. Take for example the point 1, 3. After a positive 90 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be negative 3, 1. But after a negative 90 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be 3, negative 1. Now, let's try the positive 180 degrees rotation. The coordinates will be negative 1, negative 3. And in a negative 180 degrees rotation, also the coordinates will be negative 1, negative 3. And now, after a positive 270 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be 3 and negative 1. But in a negative 270 degrees rotation, can you guess the new coordinates? Exactly, negative 3, 1. Did you see the pattern in these changes? Actually, we can summarize this pattern in this table here. In clockwise 90 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be switched, and the sign of the ordinate will be the opposite. In Counterclock 90 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be also switched, but this time the sign of the abscissa will be the opposite. And for the 180 degrees rotation, we saw that even if it was in clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, the result will be the same. The coordinate signs will be the opposite. And in clockwise 270 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be switched, but the abscissa sign will be the opposite, just like in the counterclockwise 90 degrees rotation. And finally, in counterclockwise 270 degrees rotation, the coordinates will be switched, and the ordinate sign will be the opposite, just like the clockwise 90 degrees rotation. With this table with us, we will be able to rotate any figure in the coordinate plane even without graphing. Let's take this point as an example. Note that the notation of the rotation in math is r and they put the degree of the rotation down here. So 
the counterclockwise 90 degrees rotation of this point will be written this way. All we must do now is to apply the rule in the table to find the answer. And the answer will be negative 3, 2. Let's check this out. In the graph, the point will be here. Negative 3, 2. Correct. Very good. Can you try to solve one on your own? Of course you can. Let's go. What is the coordinate of this point after a clockwise of 270 degrees rotation? Pause the video and check your answer. Excellent! It is indeed negative 5, 2. Great work! As you can see, with this table now we can rotate everything in the coordinate plane. But the question is, how can we rotate triangles? Let's take this triangle for example. To rotate the triangle, or any triangle, we must rotate all the points of the triangle. After that, we join the points, and there you go. Generally speaking, to rotate any quadrilateral or any figures, all you have to do is to rotate all of its points and then join them to find the rotated figure. And that's all you need to know about rotation in the coordinate plane. Let's summarize what we've learned. First of all, the rotation is the orientation around a fixed point, which is the origin 0, 0. The counterclockwise movement is the positive direction and the clockwise movement is the negative direction in the coordinate plane. Well, that's it for this video guys and I will see you next time. Good luck!